welcome to Veda Day number five. Okay, so I know none of my videos are up, except for that first one. I am in the process of editing. They're almost all finished editing, and I think I'm between two different musics that I'm gonna buy to add to it. So I'm just trying to decide between the two, and I keep playing them back and forth, because I really, I just can't decide. They both sound amazing. So hopefully tonight I'll figure that all out. But they might not be out tonight, because as you know, tonight is the season finale of The Bachelorette, and I am stoked. I probably will be watching that as soon as I get home from work, which means that I probably wouldn't finish that TV show until like 11.30 or 12, which means I need to go to bed. So hopefully tomorrow I'll have this all figured out. I just keep feeling like um, my days are not normal to show you guys because all I'm doing is editing videos and like trying to catch up on everything and therefore my day seems like nothing is happening and it just probably is really boring to watch so hopefully I'll have this all figured out tomorrow and hopefully either tomorrow or the next day can be like a normal day so I can finally show you my normal life. I'm sorry and working these night shifts is just killing me. I cannot wait to have a day shift on Thursday. Um, so right now I'm heading to work. It is... what time is it? 3.18, there's a glare. 3.18. It's 3.18 and I'm going to head to work a little bit early because I need to gas up my car because I don't want to do that tonight. So, um, yeah. I will see you guys later then. Bye. Hi guys, so I just got into my car and it's almost 11 o'clock and I am exhausted. This was like literally, I've never been in a situation that I wanted to get out of so bad, but I literally couldn't and I knew it was just going to be super, super long. I just, tonight was like so emotional, I like just want to cry. My, the franchise owner came in today to help and apparently she was just freaking out about every little thing like every little thing we were doing wrong everything was just wrong and apparently last night when i did closing i didn't refill the sauces and apparently my manager told me that she wanted to write me up for a warning over sauces over sauces i was like are you kidding me like I'm so sorry. I was freaking out about her coming in and I was trying to make sure everything else is perfect and it completely left my mind. I just felt so bad. And I'm not the type of person that ever gets in trouble. I always make sure I do everything perfect because I like to make people happy. I don't, I want to make sure that everything is up to their standards and I was trying so hard and literally I just wanted to like cry when she told me that. And then... I mean, the list could go on and on, but today she stayed and she was helping and she was just watching. I could just feel her I like like a hawk just like watching me and I was making a sandwich and she was like now do we use cheddar or American cheese and I was like I don't know do we use cheddar or American and she and then she was like wow you guys have just made made my boss look really really bad today and I was like oh my gosh like just because I didn't know what type of like cheese to use and this one instance I'm making I'm the reason why she's looking bad this whole entire day. Like, I was just like, oh, I was so emotional, and I just wanted them to leave, and they just kept staying, and they just kept adding things onto the list that I needed to do tonight, because the night shift, you have to do all the stuff for the, the restaurant, plus clean everything, and I'm so freaked out about that. I didn't clean everything properly, but there's nothing I can do right now. I mean, the store is done, it's 11 o'clock, and I need to go home. I don't even think I'm supposed to stay that long. So, I'm gonna leave now, and... I am going to go home and sleep or watch The Bachelor. Bye, guys.